Welcome back to Shantae Risky's Revenge. In the last episode, we started the Squid Baron Labyrinth. And today we're just gonna continue on. Now we're starting off getting, uh, destroying this plant dude. That's nice. Ooh, magic refill. That's very nice. Now over here, uh, there is, there are platforms this way, but over here, there are panels that you can destroy. Now this just leads to bonus stuff, but it's it's all right bonus stuff. Yay, money! Everyone likes money. I know I do. And also hearts. Hearts are nice, but not as nice as money because money can buy things. Things that can be helpful later on. Okay, now, ah, oh, dang, we missed that platform by just the split second. Okay, now, these platforms, uh, they, uh, they get flipped by, uh, that, this device down here. Now, you can flip them back by just hitting them with your hair. But you just need to be aware of those devices because they can be a little annoying later on. All you need to do is just watch out for them, though. They're not that big of a threat. They're, they can just be a little annoying at times. And we we can completely skip that platform that keeps flipping back and forth on its own. It's just... I don't know. It's just a little odd that that one platform is just completely useless. Anyways, this room is neat. Hello, what's this? Who approaches my magic fountain? I sense a restless energy deep inside you. Channel your passions and allow the magic to sh take shape. You got the monkey dance! Simply hold the dance button and then release it during your first belly dance move to transform. The monkey dance will allow you to climb walls and leap to new heights. To change back, press the dance button. May fortune follow you in your travels. All right, we got our first ability of the game. Now, there, I didn't mention this before, but there, the, there is a dance button. Now you have three dance moves, and if you stop on the first dance move, you get the monkey form once you unlock it. And as the genie spirit lady mentioned, uh, it does allow you to climb walls, but it also allows you to jump higher. It's very useful for uh, just regular platforming. And I just really like it. And also, it's adorable. Like, all of the transformations are, really. Ooh, more magic. Okay. Uh, let's kill you. Oh, no money? Dang. Oh, well. Okay, now this is where the transformation really shines. In these uh, caverns where you need to jump from wall to wall. Now, luckily, mon the monkey form is short enough so that you can just cling to the wall and not have to fear getting hit by these fireballs if you're high or low enough. Now, you... If you aren't holding a direction, you do slide down from a wall, so you need to be careful of that. But if you're holding a direction, you don't slide at all. Unless you're holding down. That, that's probably important to know. And probably obvious, really. Okay, so you need to find the panels in this room that get destroyed and then destroy them. That's pretty much all there is to this part of the room. No areas in here that can be destroyed? Ooh, hearts. Even though we were full. Okay, now I think there is a way you can go up in one of these ways. Maybe here? Uh, no. Maybe you can crouch? No. Hmm. Can I hit that? You can. Aha! Okay, well... Now, you hit those panels, and then you can climb up here and get some goodies. You can see that there are uh, 
jars down there. You can't get them quite yet from this direction. Now, if you jump up there, that's actually the first room where you're able to do things in the dungeon. Now, I, I, I just think it's really neat that it just... That path uh, that we took just takes us to where we've been before instead of, like, making us go the way we came to get back to this room. It's really neat. And they foreshadowed... Uh, well, they kind of foreshadowed you being able to get those jars because they're just barely in view when you first come here. I don't know. I, I just really like it. This... this dungeon design is very neat. Okay, so there is a chest over there. Now, because because we have Monkey Dance, we can actually get that now, because it's in, like, a little alcove in the wall, and you can't get it unless you have Monkey Dance, because even if you could fall through the platform, it's the, the hole is too small for regular Shantae to just get through. Magic Jam! Now, Magic Jam is important because, well, actually, we'll get into that later. But for now, let's just focus on beating the dungeon. Let's kill this guy, because he's just in the way. This guy, too. Bam. And bam. Ah, uh, more magic. We didn't need it. It's nice to have, though. So now that we have the monkey dance, I... can we... No, we can't do it in this room. Dang. Okay, never mind. Now, we're going this way because there's actually something we could not get before without the monkey dance in this room. So, how about we just continue on? Bam. money as well. We got the enemies along the way. Basically, just do what you would normally do to get through this room. Oh, we fell. Whoops. Okay, so now that we're at the top of this room again, you see that hole in the roof? Yeah, you can climb up that as the monkey. And there's a chest at the top waiting for you. It's another magic jar of jam. Magic Jam. Okay, well, now that that's all taken care of, if you miss the... Well, I guess it's not in this room yet, but if you miss the... the... the pots of money your first time through this room, you can actually get them again. It's... It's a good way to make a little extra cash. So you may as well do it. Okay, Mr. Plant Monster Guy, 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 guy. Boom. Let's take out all these panels. Actually, you know what? I'm going to meet you back in another room, because really I've, I've shown getting all this stuff before. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, never mind. Because I'm not getting that. Well, hmm. Is it still possible to get that money? Because we can climb up because of the monkey dance. I am curious about this. So I'll just attempt this once. And if not, then I'll just meet you back in a previous room. Hmm. Doesn't seem like we can get back up there. Bummer. Okay, well, I'll see you back in a previous room, I guess. Dang. Okay, so now that we have the monkey dance, we can actually take this nifty little shortcut that's above everything. Just to skip all those platforms that you may not need to go to. Or you may not want to take. Alright, now this room. This is the room that... We got to the top, but we couldn't really platform anymore. Like, you you see that there's a hole to the left of the room. Well, you can climb that now that we have monkey. Oh, but we need a key. Yeah, we don't have a key. 
Okay, well, well, I guess we'll have to find a key for that hole or for that door. Well, let's go find that then. Hmm. It doesn't look like there's a roof here, so... Oh, nope, never mind. There's definitely a roof. Bummer. But there is a little hole in here. So let's investigate this. There's a door. Hello, room. Do you have a key? I would very much like a key. Okay, well, you smack the panels just like in the last room that had a... Uh, a big panel, a big bunch of panels like this. Hmm. That's a little odd. Can I smack any more? No? Oh, but I can do that. Okay. Perhaps I need to go in here to be able to smack a little more. Oh! And that spawned the enemies. Okay. Well, it, it only seems like now oh, there's a couple in here. Yeah, there's only the two gargoyle guys. I think they're gar gargoyles anyways. I mean, they, they look like them. And they have the bat-like wings. I guess I could just use... Ooh, this? Oh, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's not flying much higher than that. Oh, well. I guess I could just platform up here, then take it out this way. Aha! And that spawned the chest down here. Hello, Mr. Key. Nice, you got a key. All right, well, now that we have this key, we can go back to the last room that was connecting to this one, and then we can go through that locked door. Very nice. Uh, okay, I guess I need to jump to the other wall. Whoop, just barely made that. Okay. This, oh, that's just money. I, I was hoping it was hearts or magic. Alas, no, it was not. All right, turn into the monkey. And then we can climb up here. Hello, magic door. I have a key for you. Oh, a save dude. Hello. Uh, might as well. Yeah, sure. Save complete. More magic, very nice, and I assume hearts? Yeah. Okay, the gate opened for us. I, I thought I'd grab that jewel. Okay, let's go through the door. So you made it, you managed to solve my labyrinth. But it won't do you any good. My magic seal is staying right here. Me and my babies are ready to tussle. Your, your babies? Okay. Welcome to the Baron Squid fight. Or Squid Baron fight. Now, the, the Crash Bomber is very nice for this fight because it can damage him quite a few times. And you can also have multiple of them out at one time. And because his hitbox is so big, it hits him Lots of times, all at once. Oh, whoops. Oh, ow. He's hitting me a lot. Uh, maybe I should have grabbed a potion. Oh, crap. I may be a little screwed here. Hopefully these guys... What hit me? Was it that little squid? That... Uh... Uh-oh. Let's, let's, let's retry that. Whoops. <clears throat> uh, let's let's try that again. 
I just see you staying right here. Your babies are willing to fight for you. That's nice and all, but why are you starting off with eating? Whoop. Ow. I guess what they expect you to do is to... to use the monkey form to jump up high. Now, when he's eating like this, I'm pretty sure that that's him recovering health. Whoa! Oh. oh no, that... I thought he was gonna, like, do the... the super slide again. Okay, it doesn't look like his babies drop health. Like I was hoping. Ow, ow! Oh! Okay, now you... you may want to just cling to the the side platform, or the side walls, to, to avoid getting hurt. Whoop. Is, is he done? Wow, okay, that went a lot smoother. Okay. Mostly because his babies were actually dropping health that time. Anyways, there it is, the magic seal. Yeah, we got it. Right on. Oh, it's you, Brisky Boots. Well, well, well. I see you managed to beat me to the first magic seal. Nicely done. Now be a good girl and hand it over. Not a chance. Back off, we're all smash this thing to bit pieces. My, no need to be hasty. I'm sure we'll be seeing plenty of each other down the line. Ta-ta! Well, there she goes. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything this way, so we really don't need to go that way. But now that we have the monkey form, we can do a lot of things. Well, quite a few things, really. Uh, no, what? Sure, let's let's save. Whoa! Now we we probably should avoid all the enemies at all costs. Uh, ow! Except for that guy, apparently. Because they do hurt. Okay, so we can't go this way because he's another roadblock guy. Maybe a roadblock golem? I don't know. So, to get back forward, we need to find a forward jump pad. And I believe to the left of here, we can actually get something because now that we have the the monkey form, we can platform better. Yeah. All right, now where does this lead? Chest. It's a magic charm, not a magic jam. I, I, I tried to say jar and jam at the same time. Magic jam. Yeah. Okay, so I don't think there's anything to the right. Uh, yeah, to the right of that area because that was just the warp squid statue. But now that we have the monkey, we can travel up here. Although I believe that there's nothing we can do up here yet. I just want to make sure. So there is a cave in here. But as I suspected, we cannot jump across there because while we do have monkey form, the monkey form cannot grab to the those bumpy ledges. It just can't. That's the way it is. So let's go back. Ow. 
these the, the flying purple things they're they're really adorable but they're they're kind of annoying as are all flying enemies really now I believe to the right of this uh, path was just the uh, just that rock that we couldn't do anything about so let's just leave that alone for now wait what what was this way okay this was just Roddy hops cool Although we could talk to her. You know what? Let's talk to Roddy Tops again. I'm not sure if she says anything super helpful or anything. But let's go see her. Yo, Roddy. Yo! This forest has a lot of nooks and crannies. Your curiosity can, your curiosity can really pay off. Oh, that's it? Okay, well, see ya. <laughs> Okay, so now that all that's done, I believe all we need to really do is go back to this way. Now, we couldn't just uh, go across from that way because, uh, well, there's a giant bottomless pit that we can't get across, even with the monkey. Now, I could use the warp squid statue, but I believe there's something we can get on this path through lilac fields, now that we have the monkey. That was kind of a long-winded sentence. But what are you gonna do? Turn off the YouTube video, probably. Uh, yeah, this was the cavern that we can't do anything about. Oh, well. Just one check. Yeah, and the Warp Squid statue is here, so it would have skipped us past that uh, field, which I guess had nothing. Ow. Tried to jump over him, but didn't work. Okay, so this is where you need the, the monkey form. Get this chest. It's a heart holder. You can now take more damage than before. Okay, that's sweet. Now we won't die to giant squids attacking us. That's nice. All right, so now that we have a lot of money and also a, a few uh, magic jams, we can go to the shop. Now let's see what you have. Okay, I'm gonna actually buy a few potions because <laughs> that's gonna be helpful. Now, I'm also going to buy Fireball, because it's useful, and Pikeball. That still leaves us with quite a bit of money. Now, we could use all of the Jam Jars on here. By the way, the Jam Jars are used to buy special items. They, they make you get the Jam Jars as well as money to buy some of these special items. So that you aren't just grinding out money for a while. Uh, oh, it's a really hard decision, though. I could get Crash Puff, which, honestly, I'm, I'm not really fond of Crash Puff as much as just, uh, or Crush Puff, not Crash, uh, anyways, I'm not as fond of Crush Puff as much as the, the first form of that item. I, I'm really tempted to get ma Attract Magic, but then I wouldn't be able to get Silky Cream, which requires three magic jams. Now, Silky Cream uh, increases either your attack or your attack speed. I think it's, it could be both. I think it's both, actually. Uh, but Attract Magic attracts all items towards you that aren't, like, collectibles. Like, so magic would be attracted to you, health would be attracted to you, money would be attracted to you. It's just really good. And magic fill, I believe, just uh, makes your magic meter gradually fill up if it's low, but it's it's really slow. So, plus there's, there's magic files all over the place. 
and magic, attract magic would just make things more convenient. Uh, but there, are, there is magic jam all over the place, and we will be coming back here eventually. So let's just get silky cream for now. Oh, and then there's super silky cream, which is an even better version. And while we're here, let's get the map. And also, I'm gonna buy more potions and I guess magic vials, sure. Now you can only buy, you can only hold nine potions at once, which is important to know. And now that we're broke, I guess we we should leave. And now we have uh, fireball and pike ball and uh, what's this one called again? It's it's crush something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, that's it for the episode. Next time on Shantae Risky's Revenge, we will we'll explore a little bit. We don't really have any clear objectives other than find magic seals, but we'll go after, we'll continue our journey next time on Shantae Risky's Revenge.